there are times when you will want to issue a credit memo to an invoice. Let's say you have a customer that just isn't happy with your services and they refuse to pay one of your invoices. You can actually leave it on the books for a while if you'd like, but eventually you might want to credit that off. Let me go ahead and show you how to create a credit memo. The first thing that you want to do is look up the original invoice and see what it is that you charged them for to begin with. I'm going to look at Red Rock Diner and you'll see there's an invoice for $70 here. I'll just go ahead and open it up and you're going to notice that we charged them for pest control. It looks like probably two hours at $35 an hour for a total of $70. Now let's say the customer just wasn't happy with us and we're going to just credit that invoice. When we create the credit memo, we need to use the exact same product or service that we charge for to begin with. The way you're going to create the credit memo is come up here and click on New. Underneath Customers, you're going to see Credit Memo. Plug in the customer's name. In this case, it is Red Rock Diner. You'll see it populates their email, their billing address, and it's going to have the current date for the credit memo date. Just make sure you put the date that you would like. We're going to be looking at tags over in section 9. Let's just hold that for a moment and let's go down to product or service. Here's where we're going to put in pest control. Remember you want to credit the same product or service that you invoice for to begin with. We're going to choose the quantity of 2 at 35 and that's going to give us a total of 70. All we have to do now is go ahead and go down to save and close. Now that the credit memo has been created, I want to show you two things that happen on your customer's account. Notice here's the credit memo and it says it's closed and then there's a payment that wasn't there before. Now this payment is where you're going to go to actually apply the $70 to the correct invoice because see how the invoice is still open over here? I'm going to click on the payment. Now if it sees an exact match, it will go ahead and check it often, but if it doesn't, come down and choose the correct invoice, and then notice the credit memos at the bottom. So you want to make sure those two are checked so they apply to each other. So you'll notice down here the amount to apply is $70, and that's all we have to do. We're going to save and close at the bottom. And because this transaction is linked to others, it will ask us if we're sure we want to modify this, and the answer is yes. And now when we go back and look, we'll see that the credit memo is closed, the payment is closed, and the invoice is actually paid. So remember this is a two-step process. You have to create the credit memo, then go back to the payment and actually apply that credit memo to the correct invoice. Now that you know how to create credit memos, I want to show you over in Section 7 how to actually give your customers a refund. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To get a free QuickBooks Online Essential Keyboard Shortcuts infographic, click over there. And click over there to watch more QuickBooks videos from Simon Says It.